Hello dear viewers. The Ford F-Series pickup has gained immense popularity over the years. With a history spanning more than a century, it has firmly established itself in the American automotive landscape. Its success can be attributed to its durable construction, continuous innovation, and adaptation to industry trends. For over four decades, the Ford F-150 has held its position as one of America's favorite passenger vehicles. Featuring a sturdy design and ample interior space, the Ford F-150 is an excellent choice for both transportation and leisure. When properly maintained, F-150 models consistently deliver reliable performance over the years. Although Ford's F-150 trucks remain highly popular, they have faced various issues across different models. In the following video, you'll discover 11 common problems associated with older and some recent Ford F-150 pickup truck models. My Ford Touch, introduced by Ford, aimed to be an integrated in-dash communication and entertainment system. However, instead of a seamless experience, owners encountered an unresponsive, cumbersome, and unnecessarily complex system. The My Ford Touch feature in the Ford F-Series has encountered several reported issues. Although originally designed to enhance the console's technological capabilities, many owners have found it to be unreliable. Consequently, vehicle buyers have taken legal action, threatening the automaker with a class-action lawsuit. The litigants argue that the glitchy characteristics of My Ford Touch have rendered certain vital vehicle commands inoperative. For instance, complaints have arisen regarding the failure of the feature to activate the defroster or rearview camera on F-150S. Additionally, users have reported problems related to diminished temperature control and navigation. Between 2015 and 2017, the F-Series trucks faced a significant challenge related to frozen door handle latches. In extremely cold temperatures, these latches often failed to connect properly with the door striker. As a result, the door could unexpectedly swing open while the truck was in motion. Additionally, drivers encountered situations where the door would freeze shut, effectively trapping them inside the vehicle. This frozen handle issue became the center of a legal dispute. Although the lawsuit was eventually dismissed, it prompted Ford to recall approximately 1.3 million trucks in October 2017. To address the problem, Ford announced that they would enhance the trucks by adding water shields over the latches. The affected trucks were produced at Ford's assembly plants in Kentucky, Michigan, and Missouri. A transmission problem with the 2017 Ford F-150 has led to a recall of 15,000 trucks. In vehicles impacted by this issue, the instrument cluster may lose power shortly after the initial vehicle startup in cold ambient temperatures. As a result, several gauges, including the transmission gear position indicator, fail to illuminate. In the worst-case scenario, the shift lever might read the truck as parked while the transmission is still in motion. Consequently, these vehicles do not meet the requirements outlined in Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standard or FMVSS No. 102, which pertains to transmission shift position sequence, starter interlock, and transmission braking effect. For quite some time, electronic throttle bodies or ETBs have posed a challenge in Ford vehicles. In today's Ford F-Series trucks, the ETB operates under data control. It relays sensory information to the throttle valve which regulates the airflow to the engine. However, in recent Ford F-150 models, an issue known as limp mode occasionally arises. During this situation, the electronic throttle body ceases to function correctly, causing the truck to lose momentum abruptly. The 13th generation F-Series trucks are particularly prone to limp mode problems, leading to delays in obtaining replacement parts. Ford advises affected customers to be patient, as wait times can extend to weeks. Despite the possibility of a failing ETB recovering its functionality, experts strongly discourage driving a truck after experiencing limp mode. If your electronic throttle body fails, it's crucial to replace it promptly. In the meantime, consider using an alternative vehicle or a rental car. Numerous drivers of Ford F-150 trucks manufactured between 2009 and 2014 have reported issues with poorly assembled head gaskets. These gaskets can lead to oil leakage from the passenger side. Auto experts attribute these leaks to overheating, overfilling, and the deterioration of gasket coatings. The telltale sign of such leaks is the smell of burnt oil. While replacing a head gasket can be expensive, some individuals opt for a more affordable solution by applying a JB Weld bond to the affected area.
The engine oil pan, also known as the sump, is a crucial component of an internal combustion engine. It is a large, shallow metal pan located at the bottom of the engine block. Its primary function is to store and contain the engine oil, which lubricates the moving parts of the engine, reducing friction and wear. In a Ford F-150, an oil pan gasket leak may happen when engine oil collects in the exhaust system. Similar to a head gasket leak, a noticeable indicator is the scent of burning oil coming from the engine. Replacing a pan gasket is more budget-friendly and can be tackled as a straightforward do-it-yourself project. Some F-150 owners have managed to prevent the issue by periodically tightening the bolts around the pan gasket. In the case of generation 12 F-150 trucks, rough idling has been observed. This issue typically arises due to exhaust gas recirculation or EGR sensors becoming stuck. The accumulation of carbon causes these sensors to adhere. Ford experts recommend replacing these sensors every 100,000 miles. Once a truck reaches that mileage, the sensors tend to degrade, potentially leaving the engine unbalanced. Additionally, if the mass airflow or MAF sensor becomes clogged, it can lead to rough idling. While cleaning the sensor may help, purchasing a new one is often a better solution. If you choose to clean the MAF sensor, ensure you use MAF sensor-specific cleaner, as using throttle body cleaner can be detrimental. A car transmission, also known as a gearbox, is like the conductor of an orchestra, directing the engine's power to the wheels in a way that allows you to control the car's speed and movement. The optimal operation of this component is crucial. Ford has issued a recall for the automatic transmissions in the 2011 to 2013 F-150 trucks. Within this model year range, certain transmissions have exhibited unexpected downshifting into first gear without warning. This behavior poses a potential danger, particularly at highway speeds. The remedy involves a straightforward flash update. However, it's worth noting that this update may cause the gear indicator numbers, which are typically displayed in the center gauge, to vanish. While this disappearance doesn't impact the vehicle's performance, it can be quite bothersome. For trucks featuring a power rear sliding window that includes an integrated defroster, a common issue arises from a malfunction in the defroster's electrical connection. Specifically, there is a small tab located at the lower edge of the movable window section, along with another contact tab on the lower portion of the fixed window pane. When this contact fails, it leads to the defroster no longer functioning. Furthermore, if the truck is equipped with heated side-view mirrors, the heat function will also be affected, as it is part of the same rear window defroster circuit. It appears that this issue has affected various models within the Ford F-150 lineup. Notably, Ford has not issued a recall for this defect, and the recommended solution involves replacing the entire rear window assembly. Coil spring breakage on a Ford F-150 can be a serious issue, affecting the safety and handling of your truck. The 2009-2014 models, particularly those with the 5.4-litre Triton V8 engine, reported higher instances of front coil spring breakage around the 100,000-mile mark. This was potentially due to the spring design and metal composition used. Additionally, the 2018-2020 models equipped with the 2.7-litre EcoBoost engine and off-road packages had reports of rear coil spring breakage. Ford issued a recall in 2019 to address this issue by inspecting and potentially replacing affected springs. Ford employs vacuum actuators to activate and deactivate the four-wheel drive hubs in their pickup trucks. This design choice allows Ford to replace the traditional floor shifter with a convenient dash knob. However, these actuators are prone to failure, which can lead to significant damage to various components within the four-wheel drive system. When the vehicle is in two-wheel drive mode, the actuators maintain vacuum pressure on the shafts to prevent engagement. In contrast, when the vehicle is switched to four-wheel drive, the actuators release the vacuum pressure, allowing the shafts to engage. If the actuator seals begin to fail, pressure is lost, resulting in partial shaft engagement even in two-wheel drive mode. If you hear a grinding noise resembling gears under the front of your truck while driving, this is likely the issue. Unfortunately, by the time you notice this noise, damage may have already occurred. Should you encounter this problem while driving, attempt to shift into four-wheel drive and then back out of it. This action should fully engage and subsequently disengage the shafts. However, be aware that one or both shafts might remain stuck in the engaged position. To prevent further damage, promptly seek professional vehicle servicing.
Depending on the extent of the repair, you may need to replace the actuators, which could cost between $1,500 and $2,000. The list mentioned above does not cover all the problems faced by Ford F-150 owners over its four decades of existence. Nevertheless, this list includes some significant issues that could be useful for you if you're considering purchasing a used one. If you enjoy this video, please consider liking and subscribing to this channel. Thank you.